two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, this one keeps out here. This is a 16. Okay? So then we got our first one here. Okay, but now we need to keep on going on. What's the next one? What's the next one? What's the next one for the A and term? Okay. Um if I were to look at it, okay, I would notice that the common difference from for A and is three. Okay, the common difference for B and is seven. So the most probably the time where the terms are gonna match up again is when the common difference is gonna be the same. Okay? Okay, let's I'm gonna try to explain that. Okay, see whether you understand what I what I mean. Okay. If you already do, that's good. Okay. So you see the is it, um, a n is going to go plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, all the way. B, m is going to be plus 7, plus 7, plus 7. Okay, and I know 16 and 16 matches up. So, most probably the next time that they're going to match up again is where the difference from here to the next number is going to be equal to the difference of here to the next number. Now, what's that difference? Well, 3 and 7, LCM, the lowest common multiple. Okay, um, not too sure the notation. Okay, 3, 7 equals to 21. Does that make sense? So, if we plus 3, 7 times, we're going to plus by 21. If we plus BM 7, if we plus uh, the difference, which is 7, 3 times, we get 21. 16 plus 21, 16 plus 21 is the same common difference. There we go. Okay, so A, A, okay, we just write, okay, A, um, A6, right, is equal to B2. Okay, now the next one is going to be A13. Okay, because it's going to be 7 times 3, 21. The next one is going to be B5. And then so on and so forth. So we're going to find this number here. Um, A1. What? What's the number here? Okay. Yeah, that is going to be less than, okay, um, wait, A2004 equals to 2, uh, what was it, 6010. It's going to be less than that. Okay, so when I look at it, okay, I want to find that last number here, okay, such that when I take the first term, okay, which is A equals to 6, right, and I add the common difference 7 times, I will get a number which is going to be less than this uh, 6010. Why do I say seven, um, 7 times? Because I need to times the common difference by a factor of 7 to get the 21, you know, to get to match up like that, okay? So, you see 6 uh, plus 7, right? Seven, 7 is 7 again, because 7 is common difference, 7 times 3 is 21, 21 is the LCM. So, then if, then with a common difference, with a difference of 21, it will match up with the term in BM. So, basically, I'll write my statement as this, okay? A N equals to 1 plus n take away 1, 3, right? Okay, now this is crucial over here because it's going to be, I'm going to change it up a bit to say um, 1 plus 7 and take away 1 take away 1 to 3 and it's less than 6, 0, 1, 0, okay? Let's just see whether that makes sense. Okay. So basically, this is the general form for, for the A and term, right? And I want to find, since the A term is the upper bound, I want to find when the term is going to be less than 6,010. Okay. Now, it's 7 um, and take away 1. Uh, 7 and take away 1 because, you see, if I put 1 over here, it's going to be um, 1 times 7, 1, 6, correct? If I'm going to put um, 2 over here, it's going to be 13, 14 to pay 1, 30, that would be n, the n term. Okay, actually, this is, has to be denoted by um, n0, let's just say. Okay, and this number n0 is going to be the, the, the terms in an, which is common with bm. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, L I'll just calculate it now. Okay, so if I were to go n equals 0 is less than um, 6, 0, 1, 0, take away 1. Divided by three plus two. Okay, divided by six. Okay. And and okay. Um, I don't know what's it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. 
I'll explain again. That means there are 286 terms in AN which has a matching pair in BM. How do I get that? I get that by writing the general form of AN, okay? Now, I know that the, the A, the sequence AN sequence is the upper bound, so basically I want to find such that it's going to be less than 6010, okay? Now, I, I change this up to 7N subscript 0 minus 1 because I know that for every um, seventh term, with the exclusion of the first one, which is A6, there's going to be a repeat. Okay? So when there's one repeat is, is the A6 term, when there's another repeat is the A13 term, right? Which is here, there, this term here, here. But I write that in the form as, as this, because I want to find how many repeats are there. So which is A, um, A7 times A subscribe um, 0 minus 1, which is to go inside here, okay? And that gives us the number of 286. So there are 286 repeats in a, N, and B, M. So, so S would therefore equal to 2004 times 2, take away 286, which is equal to the answer of 37222. Okay, I think that's the answer. Yes. Wait a minute. Three seven two two. Okay, so there we go. Finding how many common terms are there in a arithmetic progression. Okay, remember catch the upper bound, and you can write something like that, a general form such that you want to get the term less than six thousand and ten, and find how many terms are there by knowing how many times it multiplies by. I mean, how many times it it was, it's seven away multiplied by seven. Okay, there we go. See you at the next question.